So this is a short video to explain where tow ball mass fits into the various trailer towing weight calculations. Should you ignore it entirely, single count it, double count it, who's to know? Well, the answer is going to be in this video. So let's start off with a simple case of the ATM or the aggregate trailer mass, which is the maximum the trailer can weigh. And that's really simple. The tow ball mass is completely irrelevant. You just take the trailer, put it on some scales, whatever that is, that is how much the trailer weighs and that needs to be less than the ATM which you'll find on your trailer's placard. Now let's take a look at the GCM which is the gross combination mass or the combination of the trailer and the tow car. And it doesn't matter whether the trailer is hitched or not hitched, it's irrelevant. And the tow ball mass is irrelevant. It's simply the sum of both masses and hitching, unhitching makes no difference whatsoever. That sum should be less than the GCM, which is stated somewhere in the tow car manufacturer's specifications. So now we're going to take a look at the GVM, which is the maximum the vehicle can weigh, the maximum the tow car can weigh. So at the moment it weighs 2700 kilograms and tow ball mass is relevant because when we add that trailer to the back of the car, that in effect creates more load on the car, which comes out of its, adds weights to it and therefore counts towards its GVM. So it is important. So here's an example. We've got our tow car again. It weighs 2,700 kilograms unhitched. We add a trailer to it and that adds 200 kilograms of load to it and that gives us a total weight of 2,900 kilograms and that's got to be less than the GVM or gross vehicle mass. Now the distribution of the weight between front and rear axles is another topic and I do have a video on rear axle weights to help you understand and calculate that but what we're looking at here is merely the total weight i.e. the GVM which is the total weight or load on the tow car. Now let's look at GTM or gross trailer mass. This is the weight on the trailer's wheels which is the total weight of the trailer minus the tow ball mass. So of course here the tow ball mass is relevant because the more tow ball mass you have the less weight on the wheels and vice versa. So it is important for GTM. Now this is where I think the double counting scenario comes in. So the tow ball mass is part of the trailer's ATM at the same time as contributing towards the load on the tow car and therefore eating into payload and making up part of that total weight towards the GVM. So what we're saying here is that just because we are factoring in 200 kilograms of load onto the tow car doesn't mean you subtract 200 kilograms of weight off the ATM. However much tow ball mass you've got, that is still part of the trailer yet it also contributes at the same time to the load on the tow car and therefore acts towards the GVM limit. And that's really important to understand. So in summary then, there's eight towing weight limits, which I've explained in another video. Each of them is calculated differently. Depending on which weight you're looking at, you might ignore the tow ball mass, or you might in effect double count it, or you might single count it. It's a complex subject, and that's why I've got a towing calculator you can use, which helps sort out the complexity for you. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this video useful. And if you've got any questions, please use the comment section.